right, guys, here we go. So uh, just to reiterate, we are we made it to 10,000 followers here on Facebook in two weeks' time. I can't believe it. We probably would have done it sooner, but we just we are trying to figure out how to how to set up the page. But two weeks, that's amazing. So uh, as a thank you, what I wanted to do is just do a collage by uh, asking you guys for some ideas. So um, you just start posting uh, your your ideas, and then um, if something that I can do, I will add it to this picture, and then. Um, when we're finished, uh, I'm going to finish it up all later. And as an added bonus, all you guys have been asking me to do um, prints. So I was going to do a digital print of this, put it up in the store. And um, and then I might even actually put a little discount code up for you as a thank you for helping me make it to 10,000 followers. So uh, without further ado... Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get going. So um, I'm gonna. One cool thing is is today I actually can see what you guys are, are writing. Ah, Stephanie Thompson says a tiger. Yeah, okay, I can do that. I like tigers. Um, I was born in the year of the tiger. All right, and a puppy. Okay, we can do a tiger and a puppy. Let's see, let's write it up here. Puppy. Cool. So what have you guys been doing today? I am. We were working hard today. We um, cleared out a lot of the boxes and bins that we had set up in um, in the garage. And we got uh, some shelving put up, so we are closing in on being able to um, have our, our our car back in, <laughs> in the garage again, which is going to be awesome because it's getting hot here in Florida. Hey, Karen. Hey guys. Oh. <laughs> Lisa, you said laundry is like drawing laundry. Oh, and I asked you what you guys have been up to today. Yeah, I did some laundry today too. I, I got to, I got to um, fold some stuff still. I have a lot of Anna's stuff needs to be folded. What else do I see here? I see, Rona, I can see your comments. Things are just going by really fast, so um, sometimes I can see comments, sometimes they blow by. If you can just do stuff real, like a real short, just one word, I'll probably be able to see that more easy. All right. Thanks, Evelyn. An eagle. Kathy says an eagle. Okay, I'll do that. Flamingo. Jennifer says flamingo. So again, um, the reason I'm doing this collage is because um, uh, you, you guys helped me hit 10,000 followers like within two weeks, which is pretty unheard of. And um, so as a thank you, I'm going to draw some, like a collage of like a number of you guys' ideas. And I can only do so much, but I'll try to get as much as I can in here. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll, um, afterwards, I'll color this all up, ink it up, and... Um, I'm going to put it up on my store as a digital print because you guys have been asking for, for me to do that. 
And I will also be putting up a, a limited uh, time coupon code so you guys can get a discount off of that as again as a thank you. Sorry, I'm just I'm I'm trying to read and some ideas. And that says draw some keto biscuits. I like eating them. I don't know how well they would translate as a sketch, but oh, this is a possum. Yeah, I can do a possum. So far, it just seems like it's going to be a, a menagerie <laughs> tonight. Oops, I'm sorry. My bad. I had to remind uh, my wife about uh, something, but I forgot to turn it off. I apologize. Cheryl says dinosaur. Hmm, that's a good idea. Thank you, Christina. <laughs> Sandra, artiste. Somebody said an elephant. Um, so Lynn, if you didn't hear, I'm actually, I'm, I'm taking requests. So people are giving me ideas and you're welcome to throw an idea out there doing this to, to thank you for, for you guys helping me reach 10,000 followers in two weeks. And then I'm going to put this up as a digital print and I'm going to put up a, a, a discount coupon code for, so you guys can get it for a special price. Thanks, Linda. Appreciate the congratulations. Oh, and also thanks, Linda, for, for getting a shirt. I appreciate that. Yeah, on, on my store, you can you can actually get to the store on Facebook. Um, I've got sketchy friendless shirts, tumblers, we got stickers, bumper stickers. And um, you can get through it through Facebook, or you can go to the AMC Princess Anna webpage, and um, you can click on shop and get to to the store there and pick up the merch there. Michelle, again, I'm I'm drawing whatever you guys want me to draw tonight. So. Give me your ideas. Casey says a giraffe. Yeah, I could do a giraffe. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna 
Let's see what I can do here. <laughs> so many animals. Hey, Carmen. <laughs> Lorraine, you want a monkey? Okay, I'll put a monkey in here. So what have you guys been up to? lately. So if you guys haven't been to uh, seen any of my other videos, um, what I do is I tell stories and sketch a picture at the same time. Tonight, I want I don't have much of a story to tell because I'm kind of telling your guys' story. I'm drawing pictures that you want. little monkey here <laughs> monkeys are funny funny little guys all right so I've got enough little animals right now to work on here so I'm gonna just focus on this and talk about what I'm doing so um, people still ask why I do these blue drawings but it's it's so I can just get in all of my kind of preliminary shapes in and 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 uh, then I can commit to what I want to which lines I want to go with and once I get all these basic lines and shapes and elements in So here. I'm gonna draw an eagle over here. That was fourth of July recently, so it's it's appropriate. I'm flapping over here. There's a little corner of this drawing. Again, later on after after this live, I'll color everything in so an ink it. So it'll be more clear. And in a few minutes, I'm gonna start after I lay in everything, I'll start working with regular pencils so you'll be able to see kind of better what I'm what I'm doing. Ok. 
kind of dinosaur am I going to put in here? <laughs> I'll just work on these for now and then I'll add them. Right now I can draw a possum. Possum are real funny. They're, they're cool. Um, I like possums because they, um, they eat all the, um, the ticks in the backyard. I once um, I had some stray cats that um, I was trying to to capture with a little little trap and some food, and um, so I could I could rescue them. But what I didn't realize is that you're supposed to only do it like during the day because if you if you do it like after dark, you get a number of different varmints like skunk. And one time I got a possum. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he pretended to play dead. He was playing possum. And um, then when I went up to him, then he started like hissing at me. They are pretty, pretty interesting animals. But definitely very beneficial. What else do I have here? Oh, flamingo. Very Florida. <laughs> Then I have, let's see, a little puppy. Okay. We can draw dogs. So if you guys don't know, I've worked for a number of years in the in the dog care industry. And it was a very it was a very fun time for me. I loved it. I loved working with dogs. Uh, trained as a dog handler, dog walker. I got um, certified in uh, dog CPR and first aid. Uh, defensive dog handling and then I have I can tell you that I have I have over 8,000 hours of eyes on dogs which even people that work with dogs on a regular basis don't get to because I was just I was in and down in with the dogs taking care of them you know five days a week um, but I have been told, and I do believe this, that you don't, you just begin to understand, to truly understand dogs once you hit 10,000 hours. So I didn't, I didn't quite make it to 10,000. I needed like one more year. But uh, it will serve all that training. I'm also trained as, uh, I trained in, as a dog groomer too. So all that stuff's going to, is going to come into play for um, in next year when, when Anna gets her service dog, because I'm actually going to be the primary um, um, interface with the dog. Um, we're going to spend, I think in February, two weeks um, up at the, the, the dog service dog place. And they're going to teach us how to, how to take care of a service dog and how to continue training and reinforce training. And it's going to be pretty cool. Like I've always, that was one, 
the one thing, the two things that I wanted to like, if I had stayed in doing working with dogs, I, I was trying to work towards one was um, either being a service dog trainer. And the other was to, um, either, if I was going to do that, I wanted to get become one of those um, people that gets deployed on um, by the SPCA or um, to like rescue dogs that are in like horrible situations like dog fight it, dog fighting, um, busts that happen or, um, animal hoarding situations. So that's what I what wanted to do as well. Okay. I think we've got everything pretty much laid in. Oh, uh, let's see what we're going to do for dinosaur. I love dinosaurs. <laughs> when I was, um, my dad always tells this story when I was about uh, two years old, like I was really into dinosaurs and it got to the point where I knew the names of the dinosaurs and I knew like what the, what the Latin names translated to. And I would go into the, store toy store where they had the books and I'd just sit there and I'd start rattling off names and what they meant and like people would crowd around me. It's a weird little kid, but still love dinosaurs. All right. Let's see we're gonna go in with the pencils now. Elephants are really amazing animals. Like I always love seeing those videos where they show like this elephant went to ended up and you know, was in the circus and they retired the elephant at this uh, rescue place and then for some reason it was really like bonded with this other elephant and then they found out that they knew each other forty years ago at the same circus. I just thought that was cool. What amazing memories they have. It's really fun just drawing for you guys because I haven't drawn in, on a regular basis in so long, in years. Like, there, there were points over the years where I... Um, I would draw, um, you know, for a few days at a time, maybe a few weeks, but then I would just stop. I just didn't have the drive to do it. But um, now, um, it, one thing is I, I just feel like I'm being more productive. I'm helping, helping our family with a – talent that I have. It's not just a, a skill that I could learn, but it was just, it was a talent that I've had since I was a little kid and that I did do professionally for, for a number of years, but then stepped away. Um, but um, the other thing is since I've been drawing for you guys every day, um, each time I draw, like I feel like, my self-confidence or my confidence in drawing is getting better. And I think that's helping me improve because I'm not like trying to second guess what I'm drawing as much. And I still, I'm still, you know, still feel a little shaky, but I think the more that I do it, the more I'll just be able to just, just draw without having to, to worry or feel nervous. Like, and then from there I can, I can get better. If I had time, I would I would take courses or something, maybe to like work on some techniques, and that that may come. But right now, I'm just trying to get get my footing and 
figure out what works best for, you know, what we're doing every day. And um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to build more, more of an audience. So I know a lot of you guys are, are coming from, from the princess Anna page and the a, a team page. And I appreciate that so much. Like you guys definitely helped me get back into it by encouraging me even before I started this. Like when you saw me like doing little drawings for Anna, like you should do this. You should, you should draw stuff that, you know, hearing that over and over was encouraging, but, um, I just, um, I don't know, I just feel like you guys helped me a lot, but I want to build, um, and I think I can, I think I can get a more wider group. That's a hope anyway, where I can, I can, I, I can expand and, um, and that'll be fun just to, Meet, talk to more people and stuff. But um, don't worry, I will never forget you guys. <laughs> you guys are always in my thoughts. And um, and um, it's not it is not lost on me that you guys definitely have been there through this whole process and continue to be there for for us. And it's it's very cool. Um, so usually on Saturdays, what we'll do is we will throw a poll up of all the drawings that I do Monday through Friday, and then we will, um, have you guys vote on which drawing you want to see me finish up on Sunday evening. Um, however, this week, since this is a special occasion and I'm finishing this drawing up and going to be putting it up on the store. Um, it'll just be four drawings that, that you guys can choose from. So this is, a, this is kind of a bonus. This is going to get finished up. And then this doesn't count for the five days. And then the other four you guys can choose from on Saturday. And then um, whichever one wins, that's, a, that, that's the one I will draw on Sunday. I always thought monkeys and chimps were. were <laughs> I don't. I, I have kind of a. I'm kind of um, ambivalent about monkeys. Like I like them, but I also <laughs> kind of like they're kind of creepy to me too. At the same time, I don't know. I think they're cute, but my wife loves them. I think <laughs> that they're kind of like they're kind of a little bit too close to humans. For me, I don't know, but um, they're cool. They have their place in the ecosystem. I have to remember not to totally color these in because I'm gonna actually color this this whole thing in for you guys. And just have to put on a little bit of texture, but that'll just be my guide for when I ink 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 this up. And I made kind of a, this dog I would say is a mutt. This dog's a shelter dog. No, we should get shelter dogs, I think. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think purebreds are pretty cool, but if you can, it's always good to to adopt doggies. Or if you like a certain breed, you can always go to like, there's like, rescue foundations for each breed. So if you like, I think that those are cool too. I think my favorite dog, I think I've mentioned this is probably, I love blue healers. I think they're cool dogs. They're really smart. And sometimes a little too smart. And they can be, if you don't give them a job, they're going to, 
they're going to find a job and it's probably not going to be a very good job. <laughs> so you better find them a, a decent job to do. Um, they tend to be a little like, well, they're herding dogs, right? And they like, sometimes if, if you don't, if you don't train them properly, they'll, they'll get a little nippy at your heel, little ankle biters, but that's kind of what they're, they do. So they're just doing what they've been bred to do. This is not a blue healer. This is just a, a mutt. But I just wanted to throw that out there. Anna's favorite animal, at least usually, like she, she's always changing. Or she, you'll say, you'll say, oh, that's your favorite animal. She'll be like, no, I like this, this animal, just to be contrary. But I think for the most part, Anna's favorite animal. Um, Animal has consistently been giraffes. And one of her main stuffed animals, one of her stuffies, um, is this pink giraffe named Akula. And she's kind of like the leader of her stuffed animals. <laughs> but I always tell her, like, she always, like, takes, because she always, she loves her. So she takes her around the house, goes on little adventures with her. But she always forgets her, like in different rooms. Like sometimes she'll leave her in the stroll, her little toy stroller in the playroom, or she'll leave her on her desk in her school area. And last night she left her on the couch in the, the living room. <laughs> so late at night, like I, I told her before bed, I said, "You better get a cooler. Don't forget her out there." And she's like, "Okay." And she she went and said goodnight to, to mommy, and then she she proceeded to forget her. <laughs> so um, I took a cool after, after Anna fell asleep, and I propped her up on this pillow next to her, like on the side of her bed, so a cool would be like staring down at her when she woke up. <laughs> and, I, and then when she woke up, I was like, did you see a cool had to crawl all the way from the um the living room and she had to crawl up your bed, climb up your bed and 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 she was, you know, you left her. You can't you can't forget your friends. You gotta you gotta always remember your friends. Don't forget your friends. So hopefully she will take that to heart. Because you don't want to forget your friends. I love targers because they're my um, the the uh, Chinese zodiac, the year of the tiger. I'm the year of the tiger, and coincidentally, this year is the year of the tiger. So this is a very special and auspicious year for me, and I think that's manifesting itself with this, with the with the sketchy friendler. Like I have always like enjoyed drawing, but I've always been a little self-conscious about it like I, I i don't know very kind of self-critical so it's prevented me from like putting myself out there and um but uh you know you guys my wife been very encouraging to um to just give it a shot you know what can it what can it hurt and i've always said like there's, there's like definitely, I think art's very subjective and, um, you know, what you think is cool might be like something that somebody else doesn't think is good. You know, that's all it's, everybody has their own idea of what good art is or their opinion of, you know, what their favorite art is. And, um, but as I've gotten older, I've always said, you know what, like, yeah, you can sit and you can, you can judge somebody and say, you know, this art's not good or it's, this doesn't appeal to me. But even that stuff I, that doesn't appeal to me, I say, you know what? But, you know, that, that person, they, they're out there. They're doing it. They're, they're putting themselves out there. They're sharing their talent with the world. So it, to me, it, it doesn't matter. Like, like if I see other people I th that are just doing it, it doesn't matter what I think about their style. I'm just impressed and 
feel really happy for them that they're that they that they had the guts to to put themselves out there and just share their share their you know their 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 talent. I I I have much respect for anybody who's for any I mean any art really it doesn't have to just be drawing it could be like performing or whatever it's like you're 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 fearless you put yourself out there you know props to you so in the spirit of that I'm trying to trying to do that with with this and um I'm always self like critical of my work you know there's always something I can do better or I'll draw something and then like look at it later and I'm like oh you know I could have done this or why did I do it like that or which is one reason why I've never gotten any fun fact I don't have any tattoos because um well one of the reasons is that I um I would probably want to draw it myself but then I would have look at it six months later and just think it was the worst and I don't want to be stuck with something that I don't like because that's like that's permanent <laughs> I mean I guess you can laser it off but why go through all the trouble to get one if you're just gonna laser it off so yeah I, I, but I think like if I do this every day I will just get better in general and that'll be that'll be fun penguins um or not penguins uh flamingos are another one of anna's favorite animals Um, so I just, uh, one of the things that happened when I, when I hit 10,000 was, um, it unlocked some features on my, my page. And one of those is, um, that I can, my, I can have subscribers. So if you, if you, if you want, you can subscribe, be a subscriber to my page and um it's the one cool thing that I, I was thinking that what i will do with it is i know people have um sent requests or wanted to commission me to to do drawings for them but i i i think what i what i'm gonna do with with the subscription is if you if you join, if you become a subscriber to, to my page, I will um, put everyone that's a subscriber on the list. And then every month I will pick one person randomly and draw, do, do their, their request, their commission. So um, that, that, should be, that should be a little incentive. So if you if you if you really want me to draw draw something, you will have the opportunity um, to get on the the list where I will at random pick one person a month to draw your commission. So and that's included as part of the subscription. So if that's something that interests you, then you can subscribe. And then on the last 
drawing. Okay. Got to wrap this up. But again, like I said, um, I will continue this after. I'll color this in. I will um, post it or I put it up in my shop as a digital print. And as a thank you, I will put up a special discount coupon code so you can um, purchase it for a lower price because I want to make it available to as many people as I can. And then as a favor, just do it for less than less than the going rate. All right. All right, I think I think I've laid it in pretty much and um, I will continue this later but thank you guys so much I really appreciate this um, I I never expected to do this I never expected to hit 10,000 people and especially in two weeks like I think that's pretty pretty rare I don't think people hit that that quickly but it's I think it, a lot of it has to do with with you guys, you know, you, you, you've uh, been really enthusiastic about, you know, my stuff you've shared or not shared, you've sprinkled <laughs> or spread the love around and um, it's, it's worked and people have been noticing and um, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know what else to say, but thank you. And I appreciate all of you. And um Uh, yeah, I, I, again, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of speechless. I, I, um, I'm just going to keep doing this and hopefully, um, more people will see what I'm up to and the more I do it, the better I'll get. So you can come along for the ride and you can look back at the first things that I did and then look at the current stuff. Eventually you'll, you'll probably, hopefully there'll be improvement and, and um, yeah, it'll be fun. So uh, we'll see you probably on Sunday. So look, look out for us, uh, look out for the poll on Saturday when, when I'm going to, um, you can pick from the four drawings that I did Monday through Thursday. And then um, whichever one wins on Sunday evening, I'll color and ink that up for you guys. And then um, I'm again, I'm on Facebook, YouTube. If you want to just look at the final finished sketch, I post that on Instagram the next day. Um, we've got abbreviated versions of some of the videos here. So if you don't have time, you can watch that on TikTok. So all four of those places, you can check me out. The shop is on Facebook. It's also on the AMC Princess Anna webpage. You can get sketchy friendler stickers. Uh, t-shirts and tumblers and um, check this out for when it shows up on the um, on that in the shop there and um, thank you again I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up love you guys see you soon bye <laughs>